Well, it is a most warm welcome back to the channel. It really is warm. In fact, it's about 30 degrees here in Dubai, where I am now in the pre-parade ring, where on Saturday night, well, this will be all action and I will be reporting live from the track. I got in in the middle of the night, uh, didn't have much sleep, but here I am on course for you, as I promised, and today ready to give you a free bet. And this bet goes in the 135 race at Haydock Park. It's a horse that um, basically has been on my radar for the entirety of the season, ever since I saw it run in a novice hurdle at Ascot. But it's certainly looked the part since turning its attention to uh, fences, and I think it has got a massive chance. More about that horse in just a moment. Reflecting on yesterday, well, I'm afraid that the uh, free video bet once again was taken out because of unsuitable ground. So Uncle Alistair is a horse uh, all dressed up with nowhere to go with the ground. We're gonna have to wait until somewhere gets a drop of rain for Nicky Richards to launch him again here in Dubai. Well, I've been watching work on the track this morning. Hot Rod Charlie looked in great form as he cantered round the main track. Uh, just a nice loosener really for the Dubai World Cup second favourite. And of course, the other American horses are firmly ensconced here for Todd Pletcher and indeed uh, for Doug O'Neill. But uh, what we are gonna talk about right now is that race, the 135 at Haydock. Horse number two here, Soldier of Destiny, representing trainer Jamie Snowden. Well, Soldier of Destiny has always been a very good jumper. I was very impressed with the way he got the job done on his debut over fences at uh, Foss Lass, I think it was. But last time when I was really keen on him, I have to tell you, at Newbury, unfortunately, uh, he got each of the last three fences in the home straight all wrong, and it definitely cost him the race. So I have to, uh, with my hand on my heart, tell you that this is a horse uh, that I call a winner without a penalty. But not only that, Gavin Sheehan, who rode him at Foss last, is back in the plate. I think that's very important, and I fully expect him to get back to winning ways. Price-wise, well, I've seen two to one with William Hill, plenty of 15 to eight elsewhere. He is a worthy favorite here, and of course, a win bet on number two, Soldier of Destiny in the 135 at Haydock. That's all for now, but I will be back at the same time tomorrow from a different location on the race course to bring you my very best news of not only the UK but around the world and until then this is a globe trotting Neil saying thanks for calling have a great day and bye for now